In the morning crush at the State House, dozens of sellers and users of CBD try to get lawmakers on their side. CBD is a largely unregulated medication that's been winning rave reviews for treating everything from seizures to pain to anxiety and depression. It's often made in Maine and being used by more and more Mainers. Business has been incredibly good. Since 2016 when we opened, we've reached out beyond Maine. We're now in 30 states. Um, we have a client base of approximately 70 stores that we wholesale to. Save LCBD. But Jan McAllister came to protest, saying her business and others are threatened by a new state rule preventing them from selling any edible form of CBD, the most popular way to use it. We're here to demand our rights back. It's, it's, a, it's our livelihood, essentially. Dawson Julia says the state rule was prompted by a statement from the federal FDA that CBD has not been approved as a food additive. So the state told businesses to stop selling it without warning. At the end of the day, we got to fix it, and it's code red because we got a lot of people that are on the verge of losing their jobs. As well as patients who depend on CBD. State Representative Craig Hickman is now trying to pass an emergency law to fix the problem. We don't want to be putting our hemp farmers in jeopardy. We want to make sure that people can still um, earn their incomes and, and, and pay their employees and give the people of the state of Maine what they want. There is still a lot of confusion over the state's order, but there is agreement that medical marijuana providers are exempt from the rule. This shop is owned by a medical marijuana provider, so it can continue to sell all of the CBD products. But CBD has become steadily more popular at other retail stores, and people say that business is now threatened by the state regulations. Governor Mills put out a statement saying her administration is working with Representative Hickman to get a fix passed quickly. But the governor's office says for now, the new restrictions are still in force. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.